What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video. So in today's video, we are going to talk about Shopify, ticket symbol S-H-O-P, Shop, which is one of the, at least, e-commerce platform that I love a lot. I did a video here a while back um, when I talked about Shopify as the next Amazon and that video did really well and we saw a tremendous amount of gain um, and that stock went from at the point I did the video it was trading at like $200 all the way to over $1,200 and then they did a stock split and then you know what happened in 2022 when the tech stocks were crashing Shopify I mean, it wasn't immune to it, so it crashed along with all the tech stock, but uh, it has since uh, started making momentum and moving back to the upside. So we're gonna talk about that uh, in today's video. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So when it comes to Shopify, for those of you that don't know the stack, so we're going to talk a little bit about it. Let's take you guys to their website. We'll just talk a little bit about the business model uh, for Shopify. So Shopify itself, it's a platform that allows entrepreneurs to be able to create um, an, um, a marketplace and sell products directly to their customers. So think about it uh, from an Amazon standpoint. Amazon has the store. You go there, put your product, and then sell it and give a commission to Amazon. Um, Etsy has a, a, a store where you go there, you upload your product, you sell it, they take a cut for every product that you sell. Uh, the difference here with Shopify is that they provide the infrastructure for you to create and customize your own store and make it look like your own website. But the, on the, the underlying infrastructure is controlled by Shopify. So they provide you with all the tools um, from an e-commerce standpoint that you would need to be able to operate your store. And the advantage that I see with this over Amazon or something like Etsy is that with Etsy, you sell products and they charge you per product sell. So they take a commission for every product that you sell. So if for somebody that's just starting out, that would be a good place for you to test the, the marketplace. But the thing with Etsy is that you cannot really customize it and use your own domain name so that it looks like this is solely you. Whereas uh, Shopify does that, so you can customize it and uh, use your domain name. Most people use a store that is associated with Shopify without even knowing it. Um, so you can go to, say, a store could be abc.com. The underlying infrastructure is operated by and controlled by Shopify. And then the owner of that store pays Shopify a fee. Um, I think the basic plan is $39 a month. And then you can sell as many products as you want, million dollars worth of products. They don't, I want, as long as you pay your monthly fee, that's about it. They don't charge any extra. Whereas Etsy, if you sell a million products, they're going to take their commission on a million products. So every product you sell, they take a commission. Likewise, Amazon, every product that you sell, they take a commission. But um, Shopify doesn't do that. So that's why I do like this particular platform and I think that with how more and more people are becoming entrepreneurs and being creative and selling their own product you don't need to go and build a website from scratch and try to learn how to put to integrate all these different um, tools that would allow you to be able to manage your your e-commerce store better Shopify has already done the groundwork for you all you have to do is just plug and play uh, you can just find somebody on Fiverr that can customize the front the, the front store for you, and you upload your product. It has your 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 domain name, and you are in business. So I really like how this uh, company has been operating. They are based out of Canada, I think. And so again, like I said, this is one of the ones that I really like. So how has this stock been performing? Again, you would ask, um, in my personal opinion, the stock is a really good long-term um, opportunity stock. So if you're looking for something to diversify your portfolio long-term, I think Shopify would be an ideal long-term uh, candidate. So again, you can see here how the stock has been performing. Uh, this is just as of our 2021 this chart doesn't really explain what happened with the stock because um, initially 
This stock was trading somewhere at around $1,200 and some change before the went through a split. So after the split, that's why it didn't, it came, you see now the adjusted value looking like it was trading high there was $176, but it was actually $1,200. And then when all the stocks, um, the tech stocks were crashing back in 2022, Shopify was not immune to it. So the stock crashed after the split it crashed down to, I think the low was about 24 for 20 25 dollars and then since then um, it has slowly started moving and gaining momentum and heading back to the upside so you can see here starting up in uh, 2024 um, the stock is now uh, somewhere up there um, and it's only gone up in 2024 about two percent which is not terrible but again this is a long-term opportunity so um, Again, for people that are looking to diversify, I think that um, to buy Shopify and hold it and just keep um, DCAing your way. So dollar cost average away. And when the stock goes up, you buy a little bit. When the stock goes down, you buy a little bit. So again, this would be something that uh, you can decide how much you want to put in um, on that dollar cost average. So I really do like Shopify uh, from a long-term perspective because it's one of those stocks where um, it does it, it allow people Again, with the number of entrepreneurs that are entering the market every year, this is a great platform and you're going to continue to see growth and that would power them to get back to the, the highs that they used to be. Um, and I think, again, this is not me being any sort of political or anything. I think that the marketplace right now is a little bit confused because they don't know which direction things are going to go. If you see, there are different uh, um, theories about the, the two administrations that we've had in the last um, eight years. Um, one supposedly is uh, business friendly, entrepreneurship friendly, and then the other one is more so corporate friendly. So uh, people are looking like, hey, most entrepreneurs are like, hey, if you have extra cash, guess what? You're gonna take a chance to try to start a new business. But if you don't have that extra cash, if you are strapped of cash, you're not gonna take a risk. So. Um, we might see changes in this stock might see a massive run depending on um, how the election goes. Again, I'll let you be the judge here and, and make that call. So there you go, guys. Again, like I said, um, I've done videos here in the past talking about Shopify. And again, I'm repeating this because this is a long term play. This is not a quick gain. So this is something that you buy and hold. And the way I go about looking at these stocks is not just uh, picking them you can go do like all the the nitty-gritty but if you just look at it like Warren Buffett does he doesn't go out and pick stocks and like try to do no that basic stocks what problem is this stock or this company solving in the marketplace are people needing this product or they want the product so think about it in Berkshire Hathaway if you look at the composition of the stocks in, in their portfolio, you have things like Coca-Cola, they have Apple. I mean, like those are just products that people just buy without even thinking. You just buy an Apple phone, an Apple watch, without even thinking. You go to the store, Coca-Cola, like people just buy it because people like drinking their soda. So they get things that people need. So in this case, I'm looking like Shopify solves a problem in the marketplace. Nobody wants to sit there and go learn how to build a website or pay somebody to build a website from scratch. Um, and then even when you build that website to start integrating the different uh, products or different solutions that would allow you to operate a really good e-commerce store, you don't have the time and the money to do that. For a low fee of $39 a month with your basic plan, you can start doing all these transactions and selling products on online with your own store that is fully customizable to your business colors and, and domain name. So I think it's a wonderful opportunity. Again, let me know in the comment section, what do you think about Shopify? Is it something that it's on your radar? Or you just think it's like, oh no, Amazon owns the space, which I don't think they do. But again, let me know in the comment section. And as always guys, do your homework, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage. And I'll see you in the next one.